Twitter, it's what's happening. Well, our next speaker comes with two decades of experience across media planning and buying, sales strategy, and ad sales. Prior to Twitter, he has worked at Comely Media, Group M, UM7, Karat India, and then Bhaskar, and is currently senior client partner at Twitter. Please help me welcome Rohan Narona. I know it, it's that time of the day where we're all checking our phones to check how red Google Maps is. Uh, bear with me for a few minutes and we, we, we'll be on our way. So, uh, you know, good evening once again. And just a couple of updates. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's a good time to kind of check out the new UI experience on Twitter. So across Android and iOS platforms, we've made a few changes to make that experience more sharper and more richer. And uh, another fun piece, we've actually launched a new emoji for the monsoons. Critical for all of us, bane of road users in the country and the city, but feel free to kind of use that emoji, yeah? It's what's happening, right? From mere, uh, the way we put it, from, from mere 140 character text to full-time video, it's all happening on Twitter. So, you know, it, it's all happening on Twitter today. Even before you access your news apps or you read your favorite newspapers, you're in the moment. You know it's happening on Twitter at the very moment. Twitter, as I mentioned, is where it's all happening today. Sorry. The big, the big important question that we have why do users come to Twitter? Simply because Twitter gives us, as users, a chance to talk to other users directly, to talk to users that we want to talk to. Twitter enables us to kind of, you know, experience our passion, share our opinions, read what other, what other people have to say, and therefore creating a natural cycle of influence. It brings about people, it brings individuals together, individuals who can you know, change influence, change thought. Individuals like prime ministers, presidents, politicians, CEOs, individuals who carry mass influence, as well as individuals who are creating the new next trend, be it bloggers, be it dancers, be it sports people. They're all on Twitter, and they're all working in, in terms of creating a live experience a live connection to cultures, to brands, and to consumers. We've all seen this, this happened just about yesterday. You know, these are all examples of what is happening on Twitter today. We have fun moments as well. South Africa, perennial chokers on the big stage of cricket. Right? And it's brands who are also getting impacted on Twitter. Today, brands are engaging with users on two-way communication to share content, to share opportunities of interaction, and building in on, on, the, on the position of influence and on the position of recall. And video is actually at the forefront of this live connection. Be it, you know, 60-seconder videos, be it five-seconder social videos, or be it live formats, it's all happening on Twitter. Twitter's lean forward, lean in live environment today is making it a lot easier for consumers to actually you know, discover new video content. We're also in, in a place where video views today on Twitter are growing. 220x growth in the last 12 months have seen video views actually uh, grow tremendously on the platform. And it's this not restricted to brands alone. Consumers are adding in on, onto it. Movies uh, are creating uh, scenarios uh, with, with trailers on, on Twitter. When we look at it all, a, a bulk of those videos are actually on mobile. 93% of our views are on mobile. 
and with the way attention spans are shifting to mobile, it's actually becoming a lot more personalized. When you, look, when you also consider the fact, not long time ago, we used to watch all of our content on television. It was all kind of you know, very passive. But today, it's all changing. Today, with the appearance of OTT apps, with the appearance of on-demand content, we are now able to actually access content everywhere. We are moving out from passive to active consumption to active discovery. We are moving out from traditional to live. And on Twitter, we are actually you know, working with 200 video publishers, premium content providers, to actually share content with us. We've, we've actually had a great example just about a month and a half ago when we tied up with the San Francisco Film Festival uh, on a tribute to Shah Rukh Khan. So it was an hour-long live broadcast which had close to 600,000 uh, 600, unique viewers on Twitter. Brands today are actually getting onto the game in a big way. When was the last time you would have received a tweet from a brand inviting you to watch a race live on the platform? Nike did it about two weeks ago with Breaking 2. While the entire exercise for Nike took about a year of planning, teams working on the property just had about a, a few hours to kind of build and scale up awareness and tune-ins for the marathon. The objective of the marathon was to break one of the last standing human achievement endeavors of running the marathon in under two hours. With a combination of live video and a combination of live tune-ins, Twitter achieved that goal for Nike. We had users running in, watching live HD, adding comment with live commentary and adding the conversations to the piece. But the most interesting part of it all was, yes, the race ran for two hours, 25 minutes, 25, or two hours, 25 seconds, I'm sorry, 25 seconds over the record. But the conversations and, and breaking two continue to trend long after the race. You know, you've had celebrities and politicians. You had Cristiano Ronaldo adding on to his conversation. You had the president of Kenya adding on to his, you know, to adding on to the overall tweets and to the conversation. You had Nike's competitor, Adidas, celebrating the endeavor, which means that, you know, apart from just video, it's also the conversations and the influence that's actually bringing in a lot of effort and, and value to the brand. Importantly, at the end of it all, there was a lot of positive sentiment on community. There was a lot of positive sentiment for the race. There was a lot of positive sentiment for the athletes, for the brand, and for the platform. Okay. But Twitter, at the end of the day, is not just about conversations and influence. As a brand, you also are keyed on understanding the, you know, the metrics that get impacted. And that's something that Twitter is actually working on in a strong and a big uh, manner. Concerns on advertising today are abounding, are on, on an increase. Okay? Conversations around ad fraud, conversations around viewability, conversations around targeting. Our partnership with Moat today ensures that 99.6% of our views are actually by humanized and not by bots. Okay? So that cuts down on the amount of fraud. We're talking about viewability. Moat, 100% of our, of our ads are actually viewable. 100% impressions are being served. So that takes about a lot of concerns that advertisers do have. And you add to it Twitter's targeting palette, you are able to reach the right consumer at the right time. Metrics, why is video so powerful on Twitter? At the end of the day, it all boils down to metrics. Uh, research or brand measurement studies that we've done across with our partners across the globe has shown that video impact on Twitter impacts brands in a strong way. 3.4% increase in ad recall uh, between users who were not exposed to the ad and users who have seen your ad, and a 17% increase in purchase intent. Those engaging with your ads are actually positive towards your brand. The most critical aspect today, Twitter actually works in a strong synergy with television. Right? Uh, we're all advertising on TV. 
And we're also advertising on Twitter. 62% ad recall for users who've seen your ad on television and recall your ad on Twitter. In adding to a 14% increase in purchase intent. Television is our strongest connection point. And in fact, with, with most, on most digital plans today, Twitter actually sits with your TV plan. You do not need to adjust budgets elsewhere. You kind of synergize the two together. I need some volume on the video, please. It's about connecting to more than 800 million people with Twitter's rich canvas of video tools when they're leaned in and ready to hear your story. And it's easy to reach this massive influential audience with the same. Sorry, there seems to be an issue. Uh, at the end of the day, I just want to kind of leave one last message with you about Twitter. Twitter, as an in, when you combine Twitter as an engine of influence through its consumers and through its ad platform with its users, with their unique discovery insights and mindset, you're actually creating a, a kind of a platform that is a win-win situation for your brand, building your brand as well as adding to the ROI of your brand. And I think that's what I set out to do today. And I promised I wouldn't keep you waiting for so long. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Ron. Before I let you go, I'm going to request Zoe Kanz to kindly present a memento to you. Token of our gratitude. Zoe, please. And if you may, please take center stage so we can get a good shot of you. Thank you very much, Rohan, and thank you very much, Zoe, for doing the honors.